But it turns out that my cell phone may be a hazard to me because the World Health Organization is now warning that cell phone use is, quote, possibly carcinogenic to humans. There's a handful of studies that have looked at 10 years or more of cell phone use. And these studies all find roughly a doubling of the risk of brain tumors on the side on which people say they had been using their phone. Well, once the ordinance was passed and the regulations were developed, we got slapped with a lawsuit by the telecom industry. The CTIA is the name of the organization that represents cell phone manufacturers and service providers. They buy silence. They buy apathy. They buy politicians. The brain of a child absorbs twice as much radiation as an adult. That's a stunning fact. Few people are aware of it. And we are marketing phones and pushing advertising with E-Trade babies talking into cell phones and children running businesses with little phones as though they're benign devices. I would hold my cell phone here and the tumor was right there. The very cell phone companies that are selling us cell phones and telling us that they're safe are at the same time telling us we should hold them an inch from our head. Um, uh, we should wonder what, what exactly does that mean. We're beginning to see some evidence coming through in, in the tumor registry data. I think we will see increasing evidence over time. The country, Israel, for example, has, has already shown substantial increases in parotid gland tumors in their tumor registry data. I always held it on my right side, right here. The industry should have put these warnings on these phones a long time ago. Stories that are critical of cell phones aren't being put on the front page because they'd be going next to a Sprint ad. It was as if the story had been blacked out. Maybe we're wrong, but maybe we're right. <laughs>